How's it going, everybody? My name is Luke Ponzo, and welcome to another Blu-ray haul, combining two months' worth of Blu-ray hauls in one video. So I'm going to be doing my uh, my August haul along with my September haul. So and, and so that way I can give this uh, a flow. I am going to buzz through these because there's a lot. There's a lot I have to discuss. So, yeah, there's quite a bit in both stacks, so... Yeah, I don't know what else to add on besides that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit that share button, and also tap on that notification bell so you guys can get notified on any video I do. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so let's begin with the August haul, first off. Got Mad Men Seasons 1 and 2, found them at the pawn shop, I have not seen them. Got a two-pack of the Messengers in Freedom Land. Also found this at the pawn shop. Have not seen either of them. A Wolverine two-film collection here. that has got X-Men Origins Wolverine and The Wolverine. X-Men Origins Wolverine, a So Bad It's Good uh, movie. And The Wolverine, a very underrated movie. Uh, now we got to the horror pack uh, joints I got um, back in August. Found footage 3D, which did come with some 3D glasses. Came with two pairs. Got the Once in Future Smash and End Zone 2, which are a horror pack uh, limited edition Blu rays. Got Darkness Rising. Got some Jeff Dunham Blu rays. Got Arguing with Myself, Spark of Insanity, Unhinged in Hollywood, and a very special Christmas special. Huge Je Jeff Dunham fan, so that's why I own those. Got Skin Trade. Have not seen it. Rampart. Haven't seen it. I remember watching it, but I actually do want to kind of give this one another try. Uh, Monster Hunter, not very good, but I want to give it another try. Grudge Match, fun little uh, comedy. Suburbicon, underrated. The Book of Life, great animated movie. A Christmas Carol, this is the 80s version. I don't think I've seen this version. I know I've seen the one with Jim Carrey. Firestarter Original and Firestarter Remake, which I did not even pay for on Amazon, so lucky me. Got The Hustler and the sequel to The Hustler, The Color of Money. I've seen The Color of Money. I have not seen The Hustler yet. And uh, Firestarter, the original is meh, but the remake's trash. Got um, The Edge, really good uh, bear movie. Hustlers, saw a little uh, flick. Jennifer's Body. Got Patriot's Day. Dazed and Confused, all right, all right, all right. Got The Nice Guys, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon, fun little, uh, it's a really good movie, actually. Chinatown, great uh, Roman Polanski flick. Inside Out, one of my favorite Pixar movies. Stop Motion, really good little uh, hidden gem from this year. I Saw the TV Glow, one of my favorite films of the year so far. Love that film. If, I love this movie. Don't know what else to say. I love it. Got Wolf Creek on Steelbook. This is a good movie right here. Love the Steelbook of this. Millennium Actress. Excellent movie. Love that Steelbook. Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Love the Steelbook as well. Great movie. Saw that one twice in the theater. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes includes the uh, the raw cut, which I'm very excited to check out. Um, I love this one when I saw it in theaters. Um, have yet to rewatch it. Got Oblivion, solid little uh, sci-fi flick. Got Charlie's Angels, the reboot. Purple Rain, or Purple Rain, Purple Rain. Possessor on 4K, the uncut version is better. Uh, mean Girls, I almost just call it Burn Book. No, it's Mean Girls. Got Bumblebee. Sonic the Hedgehog, very excited for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Coming to America... Twister on 4K, which I am still keeping my Blu-ray for. But yeah, very excited to own Twisters on 4K as well. And then last but not least for the August pile, we have the Bike Riders. One of my favorites of the year. I set the August pile behind me. Let's get to the September pile. First off, we have Grindhouse Double Feature here. Um, with Planet Terror and Death Proof. Got the Maze Runner Trilogy, which I found for $2 at the flea market, so I picked it up instantly. Got my horror pack stuff I got for this month, which are 
Apartment 143. Men, this is a Canadian um, release, which is pretty cool. So I will be keeping this version. Because I didn't think I would get that um, as part of Horror Pack. Here's Horror Pack Limited Edition uh, 100, which is actually signed. This is actually a signed copy of Spooked. And we got Murderous Trance. We got Big Game. Shout out to Jared for recommending me that one. Three Days to Kill. From Paris with Love. We got Chappie. My least favorite Neil Blomkamp movie that I've seen, but it's still, it's honestly not very good. I do want to rewatch it, though. We got Halloween 2007, which I do like. I mean, I have the poster right back there. There you see it. Then we got No One Lives. Away We Go. Um, shout out to my boy Jacob Hubbard for recommending me that one. Nick of Time, super underrated uh, 90s thriller. Uh, White House Down, fun little... Uh, action flick we got ready player one get shorty the mist has one of my favorite endings of all time limitless great movie nacho libre one of my favorite comedies i love that movie hugo great martin scorsese flick tag really funny movie dallas buyers club black hawk down the Last Samurai with my man Tom Cruise. Jumanji, absolute childhood classic. Frogman, this is a Terror Vision uh, Blu-ray. That's the reason why I got it, and it seemed kind of interesting. Despicable Me 4, not a fan of that one, but I have the other ones in the collection, so I figured I'd add it. Got the Garfield movie, which I did like, and this is better than the 2004 film in every way. I said it. Even though, yeah, I wish the plot was more simplified rather than being a convoluted heist movie, which is not what Garfield is. But that was a solid little kid's film. We got Watchmen Chapter 1. Very good. Cannot wait for Chapter 2. Kill. Awesome movie. That's awesome. The Last Stop in Yuma County. That's a really underrated movie, by the way. American Fiction, one of my favorites from last year. And then my uh, my second favorite film of the year so far, Long Legs. Only thing beating it is The Wild Robot, which I do plan to see again soon. We got Hannibal Rising, which I only bought because of the Steelbook, because this movie, I've heard, is garbage. So, But I like the Steelbook of it, so I got it. Got Knuckles to also prep for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Um, I, love that I love this Steelbook. And I enjoyed the show. I actually enjoyed it. Got Late Night with the Devil on Steelbook. Got a watch long coming up for this in October, so look out for that. And we got Inside Out 2, a 4K Steelbook. Love this Steelbook as well. Bad Boys Ride or Die, um, the Steelbook right here. Love this Steelbook, and this is easily my favorite Bad Boys movie. Windshield Wiper Fluid is flammable. How the hell am I supposed to know that? I know damn scientists. I love that movie. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm good. And then Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1. Yeah. I will say, like, visual wise, this film looks fan this film is fantastic in regards to like cinematography and like the technicals. Story speaking, need an improvement. But I'm interested to see what with what they're gonna do with chapter two. And then last but certainly not least for this entire uh, video. The Watchers on 4K, uh, the movie from Ishana Night Shyamalan, M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. And out of the two uh, Shyamalan films that we've gotten, like one from his daughter, this one, and then his film, Trap, I like Trap just a little bit more. But I still thoroughly enjoyed this film. I think it does get a little... I think it kind of gets destroyed after, um, like when it gets to the last 15 minutes. But this is a really fun movie. That's all of them, guys. So once again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share the video, and also hit that notification bell so you guys can stay updated on any future video. I'm out of here. Peace out.